Dead in Westminster today, three of the worst games were banned from a new video arcade. And as Vicki Vargas tells us, some there are relieved, others aren't so sure. Parents are often the first to ask, could this lead to this? In Westminster, police and planning commissioners say yes. It is why they have pulled the plug on four video games at the proposed Joyland Arcade in Little Saigon. They were felt to be too violent uh, to glamorize or glorify killing and mayhem and mutilation and, and that sort of thing, and we didn't feel that it was appropriate given the age group. At Stanton's Golf Land, manager Ken Beck understands the concern, but he says games like the band Lethal Enforcer only teach kids how to shoot, a sort of high-tech take on the old Wild West. If these people are um, supervised, then they can be taught what's right and what's wrong with the game. Some kids say it's true, gore and violence sells, but the real attraction is the difficulty of the game. Um, just as special moves, learning how to do special codes and stuff. The, like the killer instinct over here is hard to, I mean, you have to learn secret codes and stuff and how to do the joysticks. Also on the banned list, Virtua Fighter. Even joystick junkies say it doesn't matter where they put their tokens. The threat is not the plastic gun, but the people. In a lot of places, like here, there's already certain uh, people, you know, that might be gang-related that come no matter what, e even if the games are going to be here.